Hi friends, now we are going to learn about one important part of the force that is the principle of physical independence of force. Here the if a number of forces act on a body simultaneously then the change of momentum for individual forces are independent on each other one cannot influence other that is called the principle of physical independence of force here we use the new term that is the momentum actually what is momentum actually scientist isaac newton defined this linear momentum linear momentum is the combined effect of the mass and velocity of a body. Linear momentum is the combined effect of mass and velocity of the body. The momentum of a body cannot be described only by its velocity. It can be described properly by the combined effect of its mass and velocity. It is the dynamical property of a body. This linear momentum, if it is denoted by the small p, then this is equal small p equal mass denoted by m into its velocity. That is v. So, we can write p equal m into v. Mathematically, it is the measurement of the linear momentum. Mathematically, it is the measurement of the linear momentum. There is a particular law related to the linear momentum in case of the two bodies problem like this is called the law of conservation of linear momentum law of conservation of linear momentum law of conservation of linear momentum states that the total linear momentum before collision and after collision of the two bodies always remain conserved if no external force acts on it except their mutual interaction. Except their mutual interaction. That means the total linear momentum, total linear momentum before collision before collision this is equal total linear momentum after collision after collision before collision and after collision the linear momentum of the two bodies always remain conserved always remain conserved so we can establish this by using the newton's third law from newton's third law of motion we can establish this the law of conservation of linear momentum let us consider from Newton's third law of motion. From Newton's third law of motion, how can we establish the law of conservation of linear momentum? Let us consider the two bodies. Two bodies, one of the body mass small m, another one body of mass capital M. 
and the velocity of the body moving with velocity u1 of mass m1 and m capital m moving with velocity that is u2 if u1 greater than u2 then what happen they collide after few second let this is be t second now they collide with each other collide with each other and after collision what happen after collision mass of the lighter body becomes v1 that is small m and for the capital m of the mass of the body the velocity becomes v2 okay according to newton's second law of motion we can write this that is f12 this is equal minus f21 according to newton's third law of motion we can write this that is f12 equal f21 so we can calculate the change of momentum for the both the bodies for mass small m and for mass capital m let's see what happen for the mass of the body small m the change of momentum linear momentum the change rate of change of linear momentum in t second if we can write then this will be m v the final momentum minus its initial momentum that is m u1 this is divided by t this is the rate of change of linear momentum and for the mass of the body m2 capital m this will be capital m v2 minus capital m u2 divided by t rate of change of linear momentum and this is this is they are equal they are equal and from this formula we can write this f12 equal minus f21 so negative sign is given here now now cancel each other now tt cancel from each other now what happen now we get mv1 minus m e1 this is equal minus mv2 minus into minus plus capital m u2 capital m u2 now from this we can write again m v1 plus capital m v2 this is equal capital m u2 plus small m u1 so what is this actually actually this is the total linear momentum after collision this is the total linear momentum before collision this is the total linear momentum total linear momentum after collision this is after collision and what is this this is the total linear momentum total linear momentum before collision before collision so they are equal that means this is the law of conservation of linear momentum similarly we can also establish we can also establish newton's first law of motion from newton's second law but how can you establish this let's see here newton second law of motion from establish the newton first law of motion from newton second law let us consider a body that is establish first law of motion from Newton's second law from Newton's second law of motion. 
Now consider a body is moving on a plane with initial velocity u and mass of the body m moving with velocity u in this direction after t second when the force is applied on the body that is capital F then the velocity of the body becomes here v and uniform acceleration is a, a is the uniform acceleration. Now from Newton's second law of motion we can write from Newton's second law of motion. We can write f equal m into a where mass m a for acceleration. Here acceleration since acceleration a equal v minus u by t that is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. If now we can write if f equal 0 if no external force is applied f equal 0 then what happen? Then then m a this is equal 0 since since m not equal 0 therefore we can write a equal 0. When a equal 0 this is that means v minus u by t equal 0 or v minus u equal 0 that is equal v equal u. That means if no force is applied on the body then the initial velocity and the final velocity of the body remain same. That means the body continues its motion in the same line in the same direction with the same velocity. Now if if u equal 0, u equal 0 means at rest, if the body is at initially rest, then what happened? Then, then v equal 0. So, it implies that, it means that if no force is applied on the body, then the body is at rest will continue its state of rest. It means that if no force is applied on the body, that is f equal 0, then the body will continue its motion in the same direction. So, these are the important part of the important conclusion where we arrive the Newton first law of motion from the Newton second law of motion. Then we have to state the Newton's first law of motion. The above result shows that if no external force is applied on a body, the body which is at rest continues its state of rest, the body which is in motion continues its state of motion in the same direction. Okay.